At Burge's arraignment, inside the courtroom, the grief and tension is excruciating as the family awaits Burge's arrival. This is only three days after the murder of this little girl, and everybody's heart just goes out to the mother. They all have t-shirts on for Hartley, and they're packed in this courtroom. The stakes are extremely high as the family sees Burge for the first time since the child's death. So as the defendant walks out, you can hear the audible cries of the family members. <laughs> This defendant is brought into the courtroom wearing a suicide smock. Apparently, the security had found out that he may be a danger to himself. The material made from a suicide smock is material that just rips easy, so they can't hang themselves. It gives you an inside look into what the mindset or the emotional state of Ryan is. Before the proceeding even begins, Hartley's mother, Natasha Luco, is overwhelmed with emotion and collapses. The mother of Hartley Anderson, the woman that had actually brought this demon into the family and had introduced him to this five-year-old, was so devastated when she saw him that she physically had to be lifted and taken out of the courtroom. Peter Anderson, Hartley's biological father, is just out of the camera's view in the corner of the courtroom. To have to be in a courtroom with the man who murdered your child is going to be difficult for anyone. And that really became the boiling point for Hartley's father. As a court officer, I know from experience that dealing with an infant or a baby's death, that the family is definitely on edge. And the father just lost it. They cuffed him for safety purposes, not only for the court officers, but also for himself. This father did what anybody might do, but going after the defendant really doesn't help anybody. It just makes everybody more upset, more tense, and it does nothing to promote getting justice for Hartley, and that's the ultimate goal. After order is restored in the courtroom, Ryan Burge enters a plea of not guilty, which only infuriates Hartley's family even more. Outside, they pray for justice. One of the saddest aspects is not just, you know, the fact that this child is gone, but the grandfather comes out of the courtroom and explains how this defendant has robbed them of this grandchild. I'll never get to see her graduate from high school or be married or anything. He took that from us. He took the joy we had with her away. He, I just hope this, the system works. His hope is soon realized. On February 13th, 2020, Ryan Burge is convicted of second-degree murder. He is sentenced to 40 years in prison. He's gonna be in jail for pretty much the rest of his life. <laughs>